So I'm with a much smaller telescope today. So I was using this to capture the pictures of sun. So talking about sun, when we look at the sun, we are looking at a big ball of plasma. So if you understand plasma, you understand the universe. Everything in the universe is surrounded by plasma, right? It's almost like a medium of communication across the universe. So when you call solar wind coming from sun, that's plasma. When we are talking about cosmic rays in the space, that's plasma. So when we are talking about the sun itself and you know the power of the sun, it is powered by plasma. So what is plasma, right? A simple way to explain is to go back to the fundamental particle, which is hydrogen. Hydrogen is the building blocks of the universe. It's the most basic fundamental particle that's out there. It has a single electron and a single proton. That's pretty much the hydrogen is. The atom consists of one of each the proton in the nucleus and one electron. If it gets energized, it's going to lose the electron and that hydrogen atom will only have a proton, which is a free proton, which is called an ion, which will become a plasma. That's a fundamental way to explain quickly to understand what plasma is. Now, there is a lot more complex processes that are happening on the sun and the hydrogen and how it turns into helium, losing the energy, uh, creating that fusion and continuously that fusion is happening and this helium, the one that we are looking on the sun, it has two protons and two electrons and to get to that, it uses like four hydrogen atoms and you know when it loses energy it is going to create that fusion and sun is born and whole bunch of billions and trillions of those hydrogen atoms you are looking at a star so when we are looking at sun we can think of the big glowing plasma out there you know we always think of like can i touch the plasma in a way, yes. I mean, if you look at fire, right, is also kind of a plasma. Without hurting your hands, if you uh, put your fingers on top of the fire, you should be able to touch it. You're kind of touching plasma. You can buy a plasma glowing ball and you put, a thing, you put your hands on it. You can impact and affect how the plasma moves inside. But at sun, it's at a much higher energy levels. And when it is coming from cosmic rays, it is a lot more higher energy levels. So for us, we need to get protected from those cosmic rays and from solar wind. So these ionized particles carry the speed and the energy, the kinetic energy, the speed like a, coming like a bullet towards us. And luckily, our Earth magnetosphere is protecting us from these ionized particles not to come and towards us. Otherwise, we'll be radiated. Essentially, that's the radiation. That's what it is called. So there are three levels of protection that we have one is the Van Allen belts, the other one is the magnetosphere, and the third one is out there near the edges of the solar system. The entire solar system is surrounded by something called heliosphere, and the edges is called the heliopause. And the heliopause is the third protection level that we have. If we don't have those three layers of protection, we would not have been on this earth. Uh, there is a lot of esoteric explanations about plasma as well, because it's there everywhere. It's there everywhere in the universe. Is that the connection between uh, one uh, state of 
being to the other state of being because it is called fourth state of matter. There is a lot more to plasma than the one that I'm touching right now. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do and click on the subscribe button and uh, like button and notifications. So whenever I post a new video, you're going to get the notification. I'm going to show you the pictures of the sun that I took this morning. Uh, it's, it's wonderful. And uh, thanks uh, everyone who joined the live stream. So here are the pictures that we took this morning. And this is the sun that came in, the big orange glow of sun with all the sun spots, the low energy parts of sun, all these areas, the plumes that are coming out, the solar wind. So I first took the one with the orange glow of the sun and I have to open this with VLC file. So this is the live image of the sun that we captured. I took a, a video file. Actually, you can take this video file and create a beautiful image of the sun as well. You can stack them and you can create a beautiful picture. So you can see those low energy spots on the sun. You can see those solar prominence that are coming out. And some of these will turn into solar wind. So this is a plasma. This the outer layer of the sun is all plasma. That's what you're looking at. By the way, on the right side, I left the NASA picture there so that you can take a look at it. So the big glowing plasma outside is a layer on the sun. The inner core is different than this outer core. The outer core is actually not sun. It's a ball of gas that is coming out of sun, ionized, and the big plasma is what is much bigger than the sun itself. So that's what you are, what you are looking at. Whenever we are looking at sun, we are actually looking at just the outer layer of sun. I believe I have one more picture after this. So this one, the one that much larger file. So now you are seeing that other file, this is a much larger file and you will see the outer skin or outer layer of the sun. And some of these areas are the ones that are showing the low energy spots. Whenever you see the low energy spots, you know that, you know, if they are big enough, they are going to start pushing the solar wind out towards the earth. Now you can see the, the big ball of plasma here in a different view. Yeah, whenever you see these uh, low energy spots, more they are, uh, you know, more solar wind is coming our way. That's all I have for today. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do uh, click on the subscribe button, like button and notifications button. Thank you.